in the previous session we have learned how to upload or create a file in OneDrive by working with create file action in this session we will learn how to work with create share link action as part of OneDrive for business action this action that is create share link action operates to create a shared link for a particular file let me show you a small example let me switch back to OneDrive in our previous tutorial we have uploaded a file called pad.docx file in the folder power automate desktop now if you see the properties over here there you can see I'm having name modified 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 by file size sharing and activity now if you see the sharing property it is in private that the mean it's this document has not shared with anyone now if I want to create a link to share this file then how can I go ahead and do it manually I'm going to select the file and then I'm going to click on share or you're going to select these three dots over here show more actions for this item and then you're going to share this file with one of your colleagues across your organization and then I'm going to give the link over here you can see over here I'm going to copy this link or if you want to add a particular member then I'm going to give it the details over here at the name or group or email ID for an example I'm going to give the email ID as basha.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com and then I'm going to send it to the particular person but if I don't if I want to share the entire link to the respective people through links then I'm going to use copy link I'm going to select copy link and then I will click on send now if you observe previously the file that is pad.do6 having the sharing as private but right now you can see it has been shared with the people and the activity you can see you shared this file just now right now if you want to manage the access for the particular file then you are again going to click on three dots and then you are going to select manage access there you can see I'm having people groups and links and I'm going to select links there you can see just now the link has been given over here right you can manage the link over here it is you can see it has been copied the entire link over here now if you want to stop it then you are going to use stop sharing all right this is the entire manually we are going to create a link to share the document by using share link option now how can we do that by using power automate desktop wonder for business actions let's switch back to power automate desktop and i'm going to use create share link action to create a share link for the particular document by using create share link action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace there if you see this action creates a share link for the particular file and if you see the parameters of that one first one is the file link type link scope these are all the parameters which we have for the create share link action let me explain to you one by one about these parameters first one is the file now which file i need to create a link to share it right i'm going to select the file or folder which it will connect to the onedrive for business by using connection reference and there you can see i'm having root inside root i'm having again two folders one is microsoft team chart files another one is power automate desktop inside my power automate desktop i am having the file called pad.docs file that is document file let me select that so where we are going to select the path of the particular file right in the onedrive for business or onedrive now if you see the link type there are two options that we have one is view another one is edit now whenever you are going to create a link for the particular file it should be only view or it should be editable mode so let's assume if i want to click on select only in the view mode then i'm going to select view so that the other person who are having the access for this power automate desktop document file can only view that one he cannot edit that now the link scope the link scope also having two options one is anonymous another one is the organization anonymous is that you know if you don't want to find who has been uh, using this one in that case you are going to use it as anonymous 
if it is organization basis then you are going to select organization all right now if you go for advanced we are having only timeout over here this is the timeout for single request i'm going to give it as 60 now as part of this create share link action we are having the output that is share link which it will be stored inside the create share link v2 response that is the variable produce and then i'm going to click on save before running this flow i'm going to disable these two actions which is not required as part of this tutorial i'm going to undo the changes in onedrive for business because of it's already shared so that i'm going to remove the access by clicking on manage access and then if you see right now the sharing is private right now all right now whenever i'm going to run the action from the power automate desktop it will be coming again as shared and you can see the access as organization or anonymous all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started if you see over here the sharing the property of the particular file that is power automate desktop has came it as shared now if you see in my power automate desktop we are having flow variable that is create share link v2 response there you will find the url that is web url which you can share it across your team or organization let me go ahead let me copy this link now let me open the link in cognitive mode i'm going to paste the url and then i'm going to click on enter and if you see the document has opened successfully and i'm trying to edit over here now if you observe i'm typing something as text something but the document is not able to edit the reason is we have given the view type over here file type as only view in the create share link action there you can see the link type is view now what i'm going to do i'm going to select the option as edit and then i'm going to click on save now if you see over here link scope is organization also i have given right let me click on save let's run the flow to see the output once again let's click on run flow execution started and the flow has executed successfully by giving the share link let's go back to the flow variables over here and then i'm going to click on create share link v2 response and then once again i'm going to copy this web url and then once again i'm trying to open the link in the browser now the document has opened successfully now if you see i'm trying to edit the document over here now i'm going to type something and then you can see over here the document is able to edit it over here the reason is that we have given the link type as edit over there edit option right that's the reason this document what are the link we have shared it is trying to able to open in edit mode now if you observe in the create share link we have given link scope as organization where can i find this type of link as organization let me go back to onedrive once again in the browser and then if you see over here i am having manage access let me click on that on the three dots and then i'm going for the manage access now if you see previously we had only one link now we are having two links over here let's click on links there you can see one is these are the organization related because of both the times i have given organization it has created multiple organization links over here this is a symbol for organization whenever you are going to select as anonymous you will get a different different icon over here all right i hope you understand how to share a document or any file in onedrive by using create share link actions as part of the onedrive for business actions